Warning. The following video clip contains offensive and vulgar language, such as fuck, bitch, and whore. Viewer discretion is advised. You cheeky bastards. It's a full walnut sock. It's the uh, brass or aluminum fitting the, the front here. At the end of the barrel, you got your just normal bead sight. And uh, flip up post here. It's a V buckhorn, call it. Comes with a full rail that you can put on top. I don't like the whole rail idea. I uh, got this rifle just because I like it. I'm not a big fan of Ruger's, as you guys know. I uh, hate the whole 10 round deal, but also putting the 25 <coughs> magazine on this, the BX25 would look ugly. So I'm just gonna keep it with the 10. I have another 10 round magazine here. I've not shot it yet. It's, uh, I mean, it looks good. I like this one because it's heavy. I didn't like the takedown because it was light. So this one uh, accomplished this. Uh, stainless, I've seen only two people on YouTube that have this rifle. One is Jim Hornet Fixer, have the same exact rifle, and the other one was uh, Mr. 45 Bullet. I think he have it in uh, gray laminate stock. That, these are the only two people that have this rifle as far as I'm aware of. Um, I mean, accuracy, function, all that, Ruger, we know that they're a good company. I just did not like the whole uh, policies of Bill Ruger and uh, his thought process on the 10 round magazine and getting all that it just seemed like it's ungun friendly somehow uh, now my only in issue with this it's uh, all polymer trigger and trigger housing uh, even the trigger itself is polymer so I'm not a big fan of this and I'm gonna be changing this to uh, I don't remember what the company is but I'll be changing this uh, uh, the rifle runs you about 300 bucks uh, maybe a little over 300 if you can find them but uh, seems like a good uh, talking piece, so we'll just add it to the stash of 22s. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you have any questions on this rifle, please let me know. Thank you.